So I've just upgraded my camera from the Canon 5D Mark IV to the Canon R5. There's a whole bunch of reasons why I decided to upgrade. The camera on the right, the R5, a few more features, but that's only fair seeing as it's about four years newer than the Mark IV. They're both Canon, they're both full frame cameras. They're both pretty good. The one key difference is we have a mirror and a mirrorless camera. And despite all the extra features, there was two things that really drew me to the R series cameras or the mirrorless ones. And the first is the auto focus for faces, focusing on eyes and specifically looking at animals. That's gonna be a great help for me and the dogs. And the second is I'm doing a lot more filming on my SLRs now. And the reality is whilst this one has stabilization in the lens, it doesn't in the body and the image is so shaky, with the R5, it actually has stabilization both within the lenses that you buy and also within the body as well. Um, that just makes it slightly smoother when you're hand holding and makes the footage far more usable. I do love a battery grip. So both these cameras probably look slightly bigger than they would do with the double battery battery grip at the bottom. You also notice a slight height difference as well between the extra kind of mechanical functions of the mirrored camera. But what I did want to do is just take it out to maybe one of my favorite places to take photos of the dogs and show you the kind of facial and eye detection in action so you can see what it's like. I have my two models. Just gonna take some photos. So a minor note, one thing I love about this camera, and I know it's not unique to it, is the fold-out screen. Uh, it's a game changer from the 5D Mark III or 5D Mark IV that I was using because it means I can get a lot lower down without actually having to get behind the screen or the lens now and see what's going on. You can also see the facial recognition happening. So it's picking up his face at that point. But come here. And as he gets closer, as much as the eyes. But, but. Okay, I've got Winston waiting in the bluebells. He's doing a great job of picking up his eyes. Moving around, you couldn't see the eye detection. Grab a couple of pictures. I also found filming on the R5 uh, much more preferable. On the 5D Mark IV, I had to flick a switch to move into movie or filming, whereas on this, it's just the touch of a button. And in filming mode, again, it's picking up some of the key details on the face. Doing a good job to keep things in focus. You can see at this distance, it's kind of flicking between the eyes and the face. <laughs> Proof it works on pugs too. You can find his eyes in the little rolls and folds. It does action pretty well too. But, but. Come here! My dog doesn't do recall apparently when there's water entry. Bud, bud, come here! So you know what, first impressions are pretty good. The image stabilization for filming is better than I expected. It is pretty smooth. Um, it does look a bit weird if you start zooming in and zooming out. Maybe that's because I'm just not used to doing that on my phone or whatever else I film on, but really happy with how that's looking. The face detection and eye detection is also really smart. It's making moving images or where the boys are running towards me far easier to capture. The only thing I notice is because I've got the aperture wide open at f4, um, whilst that isn't massive compared to some of the lenses, like I do have a 2.8 over here, there is still a slight difference between Winston's and Buddy's eyes in focus. So just make sure I'm closing that down slightly to 
to kind of get both the dogs in focus, but ultimately really pleased with how it's looking and I can't wait to use the camera more. We actually go away to Europe next month and that's the trigger for me to buy this. I'm really looking forward to putting it through its paces in the Swiss mountains.